Hey everybody, I'm Caleb, I'm Sam, and I'm Will, and we are Working Titles! One more time? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> no, I'm talking about this. Oh yeah, we gotta, we gotta hit one, one of these time. real quick. We gotta hit one of... Oh. Oh! <laughs> For the last time. Guys, we are here. It is the end, as far as we are aware, of Attack on Titan. The final season, the final chapters, special two. <laughs> the finale, maybe? The, no, this is the it. end, I think. This is it. <laughs> the end or a new beginning. It's been a while. I think it was like 200 some days since we last saw this gang. Um, this is really hard. I don't know what to say. This is the big show that set us off on a great journey. I've actually not prepared any thoughts or words for this. I've gone in like full cold turkey Yeah. since uh, we were last in AOT land. So yeah. how are you guys feeling? I, I want to puke. <laughs> I'm really scared. Yeah, I, um, I, I think out of fear of it ending, I really haven't tried to put too much thought to it, honestly. Yeah. And there's definitely probably going to be tears from all three of us. Assuming so, that is why, <laughs> that is why our fourth member's joining the cast our today. Our fourth member, <laughs> box of tissue, Kleenex. Obviously this is the intro, so there's going to be plenty of time for us to express all our deep feelings, so we hope you stick with us for the post-talk, obviously. Uh, it will be long. Yeah. And this is the final one. We do want to let you know, even though the whole show, we had no one cut, things have changed, this final part will in fact be uncut, so for all of you who want to enjoy every single moment of the way with us through this journey, we'd suggest you go over to Patreon. You can check that out and be there through all the awkward moments and cringy bits. Um, you know, it's uh, it's fully uncensored, uh, raw dog, and so uh, I just said that, and uh, that's the kind of stuff you'll see over there. Um, also, that's for other shows too, like Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure that we're watching, and Mop Psycho, so check that out. Um, but we also would appreciate it if you guys can leave a like on today's video. If you enjoyed this reaction, subscribe. Uh, all the same for all the future journeys we're going to be hopping into. And, of course, comment down below. Now is the time. Now might be the final time to write your AOT men uh, uh, messages across not just our channel, but all the other channels out there that you guys have supported and loved on. And, uh, yeah, go do the same thing for all those guys. I'm sure they would appreciate it as well. And um, yeah. for the last yeah. time for this show... We're, We're gonna, gonna punch, punch it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Right, now that we're caught up, uh, chapter, the chapter three. three. The battle oh, of oh, no. oh, no. Why is it so cool? <laughs> Heaven and Earth. What? Now, Peace. near. Why we started this yeah. mess. <laughs> oh, she watches. Oh, whoa. whoa. Yeah. Hold up. Good luck. Yeah, I think you do. Yeah, I'd be in the, there ain't the no way. Section. Ain't no fucking way. Be in the tailbone. There goes old school Armin. If he can't abandon change. What is that? Oh! It's a mouth! It's a new mouth! No! What the fuck is that? Ew. Ew! Is she doing this? Oh my god, he sees her. Oh! Ew! Oh. It's an animal. It's another beast titan. The Something cow titan? Or... or I don't know what animal that was. It looked like a cat. Oh, oh my gosh! gosh! Oh no, this it's, is it's, the all out Titan battle we talked about. It's hard to tell because they're all white. Oh, whoa! Okay, attack Titan. Bro, what the Oh, no. That, no, that's like, like a dog one. Those are jaws. Like shit. Dude. Oh, that's Yo. a these are yeah. so cool. I wish they were colorized, though. Right? I wish they weren't bone marrow. <laughs> Dude, they're all over so the So many. Brain what man. Frick, am I looking at? Holy cow. They have a past yeah. user. That is so nuts. That's really cool, man. Is that the ar old armored? Whoa. What the f- Is that a Car Digimon? Titan. <laughs> it's like a cart titan. You have a hard enough time killing normal ass titans, bro. Just go for the head, yeah, I mean, like, that's... Go in, best. baby! <clears throat> yeah! Dude. 
Let's go, you little freak. Ooh. Little freaky dude. Oh, yeah. Little nudie butt, ugly ass looking. I hope she doesn't just die right away. What? Come on, she she, she literally moves well. like saber tooth, bro. I love it. Is this even gonna go well? It's too early. Yo! Oh! It's too early. Did she get hit? She just got lasered. Oh, oh she got. No. That's uh, Laura. Laura Tiber's freaking uh, yep. Warhammer. Yikes. Oh! Oh no! It's Porco! No! Bro. Look at that, yeah, brother and brother. That's crazy. That is so awesome. <laughs> Oh, his like elbows are being held at the top of his spine. That's like, weird. See that? Yeah, Peek is still stabbed on. She was chilling. Oh, he's back. Yeah. Yes. Why Come is on, he like... still so good? He's crippled. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn, his face is dry. Rock. Yeah, yeah. Rocks Fire. him with the kneecap. Oh. oh! Yeah. Oh my gosh, bro. Oh. So cool. <gasps> oh. Are they like holding his mouth so he can't like he stomach can't nuts? He can't bite. Can't nuke it. Bro, if you just flex one of your fingers and fire a rocket, I think you'll be able to transform. Ooh. Baritold! Hi, buddy! Bartholomew Burrito! Oh, he's getting <laughs> oh. Yes! The one who started it. Yes, you uh, fucker. Let's go! Damn! What's up, old buddy? Wanna break another Come on, come on! He just ate his head off. Dude, no. How were her eyes that good, first of all? Second one, they just murk my boy. I genuinely don't know. Did he? Did get... he dip out? Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! Whoa. Connie, dude, are we really done already? Oh, did he get? Bro, this ended. No! So no! Quickly. No! What? You gotta save. Them both. This is Victorian ass art painting I'm witnessing, bro. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. Dude. Are those like all the dead Titans hanging? No, they're just watching. They're what? waiting to tackle. What? Oh, that's what? so what? cool. What? It's the. It's the. So you're in the way. What? Falco. Falco. It's Falco. Boy! Bro got wings. That boy got wings. Yo. He looks so awesome. What the fudge? He had the backup on his back. Dude, look at this. Oh, he looks so different. There she is. I didn't think you'd be able to fly. <laughs> and shit ass kid is here too. With no sniper rifle. Whoa, he looks so, so wild. Falco, oh my god. Good. The chicken's finally flying. Chicken boy. Go get your man. Yep. Time to do your female Titan jump in. Start charging. Yeah, they are. That's been 85% of the show. Thanks, Annie. <laughs> I haven't been your fucking fault, too. She's finally petting. <laughs> Most of the time, it's you and your friends doing it, too. What the? That is so cool, man. Awesome. I can't his, get over that. He's massive, too. I'm sorry, we oh. the only way, bro. We have to at this point. Are we gonna have a Mass Effect bad ending, guys? I feel like we will. <laughs> have we properly prepared for this moment? Oh! oh. Wow, wow that's, that's, really cool. Cool. that's really cool. Knock loose! Oh my god, come on, Falco. Oh, yeah, no. I thought, yeah, Will, I thought that was a Chidori, bro. I did, too. <laughs> <laughs> and Reiner, armor time. Oh, my God. Can he get a weapon, too? Take the sword. <laughs> oh, yes. Woo! 
Woo! Bye bye. Bro, it looks like a fucking Power Ranger. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> he was hiding in the shadows. Go for it. The best bud. Oh! Ew, I don't like the look. Why well, is she just chilling there? What? <laughs> Oh, here we, we go, go Andy! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Come on, Andy. Woman Titan. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Same here. Armin. Same here. Armin was a good choice. Armin is that guy. So we gotta find him. The true embodiment of the scout leader. Come on. Come on, man. Grab it! Oh. Damn, come on, Annie. Fastball special! Throw her! Fastball special! Woo! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god, Mikasa. <laughs> Gosh, this is so annoying! Oh god, man! That is so perceptive. Not it's so sword. annoying. Annie's gonna have to defeat her first semi love. Part two. Oh. The boy's still knocked. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I actually forgot about all the stuff that's happening down below, man. No. I feel so bad for calling Armin useless all those years, bro. Yeah. It's so bad. Mm. Oh my gosh. It's like Schindler's List right there. <laughs> They're just passing the baby. Oh my god. Oh. oh, that's incredible. Oh my gosh. Come on, Armin. Do something to wake yourself up. What is that? Is he in the sand world or whatever? Oh, could he like build build another Armin? I don't know. What do you do? So what do you do here? <laughs> How do you wake yourself up? Yes. Because you can see everything. Okay, yeah, Armin. Can he like connect to all of them if he runs to the center? Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, it's Zeke. Whoa, whoa, these characters haven't interacted. Hello, Dio. <laughs> Hello, Koji. Is he just forced to make all of the... the titans that are being utilized right now? Hello, I don't even know his name. He's... what is he building? He's not Did him and Ymir yet. switch roles? I don't know, maybe. He's like the attendant of the paths now. Chapter 4, A Long Dream. Because life exists. Yeah. 
I'd hate to be in this infinite space. Especially with this fucking goofy ass <laughs> motherfucker. Racing to the trailer. Oh, yes, 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 yes. He's just envisioning again. Oh my god, Zeke. Yeah, your dad. Or your pseudo dad. Right. <laughs> Yo, whoa! Oh, nah. All oh, the friendly titans. Ymir. Ymir. <laughs> We're about to have a powwow with the, the old crew. Please tell me Zeke is going to get those titans on our side, the ones that are cool. Bro, he's hopping. He's not even running. Come on, man. What? Hey, 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 hey. Hello, Armin. Armin. Armin did it. That's all you need to know is Armin did it. Oh, yeah, it's ours! It's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! The Wait, boys are what bad. the hell? That's my boy! How do you convince him? Jimmy! Yeah. Yes! My girl! Oh, the ugly Woo! <sighs> Hobgoblin looking. Thank you, Armin. Thank you, oh, Burke. God. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, that's a uh, Kruger! That, the, 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 the game breaks off to it! Oh, baby! Look at pop! <laughs> oh, ah! Richard the Smoke. Who are you? Top, You're cool. Top saver. The, yeah. Yep. Oh, Zeke's shit! Guy. He that's was a crazy. ram. He was a ram. Ram That is so cool. Zeke. <laughs> oh, oh, my God! Oh, ah! It's a miracle! It's a Christmas miracle! <laughs> <laughs> You're dead, it doesn't matter. You're still dead, brother. He's like, I wanna beat your ass. I didn't wanna see you, though. <laughs> I want to kill him. <laughs> but he's clearly, like, Zeke's probably controlling Yo! Him. Yeah, he pops. Yeah. Zeke can, Armin can then Zeke. Levi ain't gonna be about that, though. He's like, we already worked with him once, bro. <laughs> Our comrades in the past, also known as Aaron's dad, <laughs> dead child. I'm so surprised Aaron allows this to happen. Seeking connection. What? What? I would turn it away. Good. I'm not. I'm like surprised, bro. You know. And this a hand. What a duo. He's not expecting it, but it makes sense that Armin of all people would be able to get through this dense man. <laughs> that ass is certainly dense. You could have stopped this shit. I need an instant replay of this shit. That is fucking awesome. Well deserved! That's right! That's what I'm talking about! He said, fuck you, bitch. Oh, I don't man. care, you just saved all my friends. Does that mean he can't control the oh, shit? It yeah. means we're free! It means we're scot free, baby! Oh, the baby's okay. The oh, means we're good! It's a glorious day! You wanna know how you can help us, Zeke? Go to your eternal death, brother! You <laughs> took too long to figure your shit you. out! <laughs> What's that? Don't care! Do <laughs> that! I can't believe it. that is crazy. I didn't even like see it. <laughs> that is the. That might be my anime thing. I know his head's <laughs> off. Yeah, I. <laughs> Okay, so what do we what do we do with Aaron now? Well, now, it's, now it's just a fight. Fuck right? him up. That's what we do with Aaron. 
I'd be jumping out of that head right now. Eat a dick, Aaron. Let's do it. That's Way too what. slow. Blow his ass up. Suicide. Do it. Ass. Fuck you. Do it. God. That is way too happy. I did not expect this. Levi <laughs> thunderclap and flash on a guy that wasn't going to fight back. <laughs> That's <laughs> So no head? What the so, fuck? Oh, oh, it's reconnecting. Here. It's trying to reconnect. Again, just like the mirror's looking for connection. Bruce's <laughs> 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 car Celestia. <laughs> Ryder is the guy. Look at him. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm so hyped. This boy might be elite. He might be elite level. Bruce holding the Celestia. I love that. <laughs> Why is he so cool? Let's go! Wow! Yo! <laughs> The smoke demon Arvin. <laughs> Hold 25 kill streak. <laughs> Did we get everyone out? I hope so. Who is Someone getting burned? Krista, or whatever her name is. Historia. Historia. Where he, she banged the farmer, dude. I can't imagine that this is it. The it's world. still alive. Kill it. Oh. What do you do with it? How are you supposed to beat it? What do you do? Beats me. Cut it up. Use those cannons we were talking about. But the about. nuke did nothing. What do you do? They gotta chase it down. Ooh. Oh, is Aaron back? Did he transform again? Please be his normal titan. I just want to see the attack titan one more time. Yes! Oh, that yes. is not the yes. normal titan. It looks cool, though. That thing, looks that thing is boring. crazy. Yo! Is he taller than Armin? Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, Final good. boss. Again. Oh, my God. So is it a colossal? Up? The yeah, rematch! It is. it is a colossal. Where's he going? He wants to beat up Aaron so bad. What the he fuck? He needs to go fight the Celestial. <laughs> What's that smoke? It's the... That thing. It, it's kind of, is it going to turn all of them into Titans? It doesn't smell like when Titans die. That's what yeah. I'm saying, bro. Oh, all these people are about to become okay. Titans, bro. Okay, they're in the, never mind. Oh. What? I'm out of guesses, guys. I'm out of guesses. No. <laughs> so they all. Yeah. Damn it! Dude. Give us a fucking break, bro. Great. This is the new rumbling, a bunch of regular Titans. <laughs> Yay! Or they're all gonna... Yeah. <laughs> so zesty. Are they gonna become like some weird amalgamation freak? Damn, bro. No, they're all... Oh my gosh. gosh! Oh my gosh! Reiner, Reiner's come on! Kill his family. Come on, linebacker, let's go! <laughs> Take them all, baby! Yeah! Oh! Kick his ass, bro. Right, Run kick it back. his ass. He is big like a squawful now. Oh, oh yeah! I, I am impressed by Reiner. Holy cow. That's John and Connie right there. Oh, my gosh. No. And Gabby. Abby. Oh, Gab. And Mom. Oh, shit. I can't believe they just did him like that. Ew. Oh, I can't. And her dad. Mm. They gotta stop this guy. These poor folk don't even get time to feel their emotions. Make us up, please. I just need you to lock The it simping in. powers are pissing me off, bro.
What, what in the imaginary world is this? That was the poster shot. Oh, no. It's this just like the first yeah. episode. Yeah, it is. It's like line for line. He's gonna be like, kill everybody. My tidy, y'all. Damn. Dude. Get him! Yeah, yank him by Yo! fucking long. Run it back! He looks so cool, dude. Imagine needing all the Titan's powers to fight. Couldn't be Armin. He only needs one. Come on, Mikasa. Oh, she's yes, gonna sir. do it. Mikasa's a hell diver, let's go. Okay. That looks so cool, man. <laughs> My gosh. Oh! Oh! Whoa! <clears throat> Come on, Levi. Make a hole for her. One final push. Oh, this is like, humanity's this strongest game, soldier. This needs to be a video cutscene. Oh! Oh my gosh! I love the acrobats. Oh. Get in there, Mikasa. Uh, Come on! Wow! Can she do it? Hi! God, make it a you're a good, a good freaking warrior, dude. Eyes now. So yeah, it kind of looks like she's got eyes. Final chapter. Toward the tree on that hill. What the fudge? <laughs> kind of a dick move. This is their, like, talking. I think this is, like, them spiritually speaking to each other. It's her love for him. Wow. Yeah. That's why I said it to Mikasa. It's like the Ackerman curse. Oh, man. She was stuck in an abusive relationship. What a... What a... <laughs> a story to tell. 2,000 years of servanthood because you're loving the captain. Mikasa. All for Mikasa to get to that point. Yeah, because he didn't know the end of all, right? Or, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it has. Oh, it's just the oh. it's just present all at once. Oh my lord. Broke even. What? Oh my god, he was in control of it all. What? Oh my god, what the... Yeah, let's not bring that up at this point. What? So he's at the own, his own damn fault for everything. John. John. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's a little... Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> Preach! Hit it off sooner than you'd think. Aaron, you fucking sap. Nimrod. <laughs> Don't tell her I said this, <laughs> please. Yeah. This stays between boys, <laughs> please. I get that. I get it, Aaron. Damn, poor guy. Can we not find a way to break the 13 years, man? Ugh. Yeah, the the world's blood is on Aaron's hands. Yeah, the delusional heaven you have. This is not it. This is it. All right, man. That's horrifying. Yeah. Eighty percent of the world. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? Right. It's already been determined. Didn't you do that? <laughs> yeah. Didn't you determine it? A slave to right. freedom. Yeah. So he wanted to like reset the game. I hate this like predetermined life he's lived. So frustrating. Right, right, yeah. right, 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 right. Because you're the you're the problem of your own making. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's such a frustrating reality, man. Come on. Yeah. We did this. <laughs> yeah. So Armin's taking responsibility for getting down this path as well. Why is he such a good friend? Oh, God. Bro, what the hell? I'm erasing your memory of our time here? Oh my gosh, this is so morbid. This is like Kyotaro kind of stuff all over again, man, but what's so much worse? We'll be together forever. I hate this. So that so that's what the cabin thing was. Yeah. That was an actual yeah. that was a path's memory. We back. Oh my god, so the chillin'. Did he have a conversation with him too? He had conversations with everyone. Oh my Yes! Wow, but no, but it. yes, but all right. <laughs> Fuck, man. They actually did it. Is he dead? I don't know. Yeah, you gave your hearts for. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Go away. Don't take Levi, please. Go away. I love you guys. So. Oh. Potato! Potato! <sighs> oh, Reiner, you deserve a life. A good, happy they life. They all do. Man. 
<laughs> that man put went through his own psychological oh and physical gosh. hell, bro. Start over. You only have 20% of the world to potentially hate you now. <sighs> Probably for the best. Take him to the tree. On the tree, on the hill. Take him to the tree, yeah. Tree on the hill. It's my favorite spot in the show. Damn. I can't believe it's ending like this. I want to feel at peace. I feel so stressed. Yeah. Like, my chest is just so tight, man. That flag is tough. Oh, nice red velvet and Mikasa's color. That's really cool. That's really God cool. God damn it. Yeah. This might not be how he wanted it, but this is what we got. Yep, yep, yep. World without Titans. Fuck. I just want to see the tree. Yes, thank you. So I won't. How's Shiganshina doing these days? Trample Damn! Wow! Oh, so she's been here for three years. God damn it, Mikosa. Scarf. Take that thing off. <laughs> he said to leave it behind. Yeah. That's so weird. Uh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh look, 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 look. It's they all pulled up though. What? What happened to the? The worm. Who the fuck is that? <gasps> John. John. You son of a bitch. You better show it. It looks like. Cars. The cars. cars. We upgraded here. Finally. Oh, there's a lot of family there. Oh, uh, her generation. Zoom in old Mikasa. That was old Mikasa. Uh, she had a cane. Oh, come on. Why did they make it so tiny, bro? Right? No. Oh, please. Oh, that's beautiful. She wanted to get buried next to him. If they show this world destroyed, it would be destroyed. Imagine they show more titans. Like it just, <laughs> it just reaches it's around too. You just see the worm out in the distance. Oh fuck! <laughs> Defense on Titan coming next. To what? Oh, what? Yo, New York City. <laughs> and this was Japan. <laughs> What are we in Gotham City? What the fuck's going on? Tokyo 2? <laughs> Not. I was about to say it. I was about to say it. Oh, great. War still lives. Ah! <laughs> Sam turned <laughs> <laughs> He would have wanted that. Aaron would have appreciated being surrounded by war. Oh, my God. And it was destroyed. Oh my god. No know. way! No! <laughs> they finally spun back after all those years, bro. Oh my god, there's still more. What the fuck? What is happening? What Whoa, is this? Is this near? This looks like near now. This is the last of us. <laughs> this is this the fucking future. last of us. Are you, are you kidding me right now? Po are they gonna find some Titan shit in the far future? Is that Eric? It, it looks like the sky for most. Alternate reality Eric. Oh my god. The gosh. great grandson. He's gonna fall in and we're gonna have Titans again. Let's go! <laughs> Attack on Titan in the future. It's gonna be a new TV show spin off. The infinite cycle of Titan. It's a new spin off. No it's shot. Real. A boy and his dog become Titan. The first card Titan is a dog. Ah, oh, and a boy. Damn, oh my that God. was so nice. That was so ridiculous. That was, I love that. <laughs> it's over. There's nothing else. 
Giant City Canute. <laughs> they finally revolutionized their city. Mikusa dies, they get a nice town, and then they blow up. <laughs> I mean, at least it looked like it was like a, like at least like fifty to hundred years later. They had plenty of times. Bro, <laughs> ain't no way this show just ended like that. I feel like I just got like memed. I can't believe the show just ended Dude, like that. What the fuck? We just went to the future with size skyscrapers, skyscrapers. Um, as soon as they showed a skyscraper, someone crashed a plane into it. It was a helicopter. <laughs> I don't think it crashed in. I think someone just shot it. <laughs> it looked like it flew into the I know it did, but I think it just shut down. Because then you see... Ah, uh, New York City. <laughs> Bro. And then it just opened high. The movie just ended like the ending of Open Eye. What the fuck? And then it begun, re-begun with Apocalypse Boy about to get tightened by accident. <sighs> Ain't no way they just said... Hey, it's time to blow this city up for real. <laughs> so fuck these guys. Uh, They've been living on that silly island long enough. Can you imagine? Yeah. So are we... What? So are we supposed to take it that, like, that tree that Aaron died at that just became, like, a giant titan tree very reminiscent of Ymir's tree from back in the day is now another Titan thing and so now the reason like this kid's gonna stumble into it we're gonna like go down this path all over again what, where well, else would that worm go I, where, where else would that worm go if not back to where it came I mean, from it died but boy, there Did might it? be a new worm yeah it, was, it looked dead when didn't it show like a big wormy thing dead on the ground uh, you just jump, you? jump back real quick. Back to I him. do not think it's it released the gas, but I thought eventually after the fart gas, it was just kind of dead. Well, it was it was fighting. It was fighting the the boys. It's that log. Yeah, it, it disappeared. It Reiner look, look. snagged it, and uh, we never saw what happened to it. Yeah, I think I think they left it open ended. I mean, why else would they do the tree sequence if not for it to have lived? Yeah, I think it was all that's awesome here. as hell, though. I do too. Yeah. I think it is cool. I think it. I think. Um, well, yeah. or if anything, it's like because I think I think the significance of it is that Aaron Aaron's body was buried there. His head. His right. head was. Well, it was left. But still, it's like. Oh, you're you're asking if Mikasa's tree is well, where that we watched home. the the fucking montage of the tree. Oh, I guess it grew bigger and bigger, and then a city now had an opening up. just uh, like the opening that you're uh, yeah. yeah, in my mind, I thought he just somehow found the one from like you know the Roman era that we saw. No, this is like the one. The no, tr- and Ymir tree. knocked over that one. I'm pretty sure when she transformed the first time. Yeah, she knocked she it down. She did. You're right. But um, wow. Well, uh, it, it's I like that. It, if anything can be said, I at least really like that because. It, it makes the idea that the threat can never fully go away, and it really comes down to how people have to use like what's given to them, like power at their disposal. Like what Aaron was saying, I was just an idiot given power, and this is the result of the power that was given to me. Yeah. That's, mm. That is the wild... That is so wild. The fact that our protagonist just happened to be a moron. That got John too, said basically it here a first. moron that got too strong. John said it first. Just saying. Yeah. I mean, it's also that plus that the fact that this, for better or for worse, is like a predestined thing to happen. You know what I mean? It's like, or at least she just wasn't boring. smart enough. If there was a chance to not to break <laughs> destiny well, or change too. it, I'm he not wasn't smart enough to do it. I don't want to shit on Aaron and act like he was a big idiot in the show, but simultaneously, I'm thinking. The only time he became super clever and was able to come up with great plans was only because it was like predestined for him to know the info ahead of time. So it was only like he was super intelligent when he had cheat codes at his disposal. Right. When he was talking to himself from before. But he was past. But even still, was. like he was saying there that the thing that sucks now with the founding Titans' powers is that there's there's it's all just reality there's no past or future it's just like all simultaneously happening and didn't he also say that he had tried to work it out other ways and it just ended up being worse solutions yeah or or, being the same yeah or yeah being the same rather yeah so like to me i feel like even if like even if you're an idiot unless you're actually like negative iq 
there's no way that you wouldn't be able to, like, if he's able to infinitely play through something, he would be able to find a better solution if it's not, like, a predestined thing the, that the way it's going to play out. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah, but at the same time, could he change all that much? There's stuff that even he didn't set in motion, even with his ability. Is there any way he could have stopped some things or changed some things that... Well, that's all these key events. Like, he can influence it, but it's not like he can fully change anything. Well, I mean, he he clearly could influence things enough because he said he, he knew he... When the Smiling Titan didn't eat Baratold, he specifically sent it to go to Shiganshina, and that would kill his mom. Like, that's what oh, he just okay. said. You know what I mean? So, like, he literally specifically influenced the beginning of his journey because he said, I needed Baratold to live. So, right, right, right. again, it's one of those situations, like, are we talking about something where, like, if he did it a different way but wanted Baratold to live, like... Would he still have gotten to the same point even if the Smiling Titan didn't come and kill his mom specifically? You know what I mean? Like, would it have just played out a different way? She would have died in a different way. Yeah, that she would've still would have somehow died horribly. Yeah. It's also, like, that, that moment, that moment of revelation is a great, um, it's a great tool to put the responsibility back on Aaron for all the people who want to be like, well, Aaron's only a byproduct of the situation. Well, it's like, that's what it would have been which is still technically just an easy out excuse to behave however you want to in opposition of the people that first wronged you. But now it's like, <laughs> now there's no out for you folks because it, in fact, has nothing to do with Ymir and all that. That was just the situations laid out, but Aaron, at the end of it, was still the one to decision-make in creating his own hatred cycle because he was the first. Like, you can say pigs all you want, we can say pigs all we want in modern day Earth right now for any problems we've ever had, but this just puts more urgency on Aaron to make his own bad decisions in the end because he's the own catalyst for his own little cycle that he is a part of in the grand scheme of yeah. things. It's uh, just not, it's super ironic and so frustrating. This, this episode is so frustrating, unfortunately. It's just so, yeah, Aaron, man. It's, he is so frustrating to me. He truly is. Yeah. Um, he is a frustrating character. And, yeah. There's so many feelings. This episode, this was so much to... Um, not like it was um, super complicated, per se, but just, like, so much stuff happening. I'm, I feel really exhausted. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm <laughs> yeah. so tired, man. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then when they just started doing the whole epilogue sequence, I'm just like, oh, of course. I, and what, the credit scroll. Yeah, the along. credit scrolling. Like it's just like at least <laughs> it's funny. You could even frame it in a way that it's like this is us in a couple years because who's to say Ymir or the the king, King Fritz, whoever you want to choose, didn't erase our minds, and we don't remember our past. And it's just that I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. Stay, uh, stay around the reaction channel for when Attack on Titan the Future comes out. <laughs> in, uh, I'm saying, bro. Yeah, AOT. When whatever AOT part two. When Aaron <clears throat> the Third or whatever that kid's name is going to be in his pet dog Titan, pull up and start fighting against. I don't whatever know, people exist. The Neo Marlies. <laughs> the Neo Marlies. Whatever, whatever iteration of war is happening in today's day and age. Um, it's gonna look like modern warfare, but in anime and also Titans. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this episode is like weird because there's just a lot of emotions being brought up. Yeah, man. Um, just because it's like I don't know. There's so much that happened. I, I just wanna I wanna bring this up because I just don't get it. I don't understand why the last two parts had to be these like long multi-hour episodes. As opposed to, like, individual... Episodes, uh, yeah. Yes. Like, as a, in, as a... Like, we got... There's four chapters in this, right? And, and then the last three. one was three. Right. So it's like, why couldn't you have just, like, made, like, a mini... Or at least that's how they're gonna do it in a couple days. I think the first part was two parts. doesn't matter, but... Regardless. Like... But even still, it's like, so why couldn't you just... I am sure... I know people love this, because they don't have to wait... 
I don't know. For me, it just gives me so many emotions because I'm like, there's just so many up. There's so much fucking happened in an hour and a half. Yeah. Like your average AOT episode in the old seasons, the like 20 minutes, and you're like, you felt like you've been watching 45 minutes of like a horrible disaster happening the yeah. entire time. And I feel like we've been so packed. I feel like we've been sitting here for like five hours at this point. It's also been like a relatively longer day, but yeah. like you know what I mean. It's just like Invincible and JJK. And then going out for dinner after. And then the, coming back. And then coming it's back. Been a gauntlet. Yeah, so I mean, like. I've been it's just, on the move all day. I'm tired. Yeah. So I, it's just. Anyways. This is, a, this is a great reason to just express that it, if in the future we ever have to do some episode breakdown, this is why. Because this, this, this needs time to digest. This is a lot of stuff happening yeah. at once. And, like, I, I actually. And just to be transparent with you guys, I actually don't know how I feel. About the yeah. finale, if I'm being honest, I, I told the boys come before Ooh. coming here that I set my expectations. I know, I know, for a big AOT fan, I shouldn't, but I set it really low because I knew a lot of manga um, readers didn't like the ending, and so I, I was like a little discouraged, if I'm being honest. As I mean, as the time has gone on since the release of the manga, I think the manga finished what when we were doing the part two, the, the first special, right? It was already done at that point, right? Or something like that? No, this was over... Even before I think it was, before, this was over. I think it was, like bef- I think it was over before we but, were but, in this place. Maybe yeah, oh, okay. In, but it's been a while. That I think, like, that, midway like, through season four or something. Or, like, kind of beginning-ish season four is already done. And so, but it, that, that, that has been, like, on my mind, though. Just not to say that what we got wasn't surprising, because it was... There was a lot of stuff that's super surprising, and we'll talk about it. But at the same time, I'm also, like... I actually almost expected this, so I think to myself, is is that why people feel like I'm trying? I'm actually because I, I have no idea why the manga readers feel the way they do. I can only feel what I'm currently feeling, um, and try to understand them because uh, obviously, for anyone who's not under a rock, when manga came out, it was controversial. I think it was it was rather controversial. I think a lot of people weren't sure how they felt. I don't know if they thought it was safe. Um, I'll be honest. I cannot believe it. It ended as light as it did. Yeah. I mean, we we got out clean slate, and yeah. me and Will and uh, even back when Adam was with us, we all thought Aaron would die. So basically, everything we've thought of did happen. Yeah, and we actually can't like I don't I don't know how to feel because I think I was prepping for such a tragic end. And to be fair, it's still technically tragic because it ended in nuclear warfare. Yeah. Also, eighty percent of the population died. But I'm so removed yeah. from that because I don't like. It's not. It's just like if you told me in any show story that it's going to be a dystopia. So yeah. it's it's hard to be like, oh, I don't yeah. know. Maybe I'm just exhausted. Yeah, I, exhausted. I feel like like for me it's hard. So one, I'm also curious. I guess we really won't know until after the fact if this is an anime only ending I know a lot of people like speculated right. whether that was actually a thing so, right. is the, right. so is this the ending that the manga readers got that were also really pissed off about everything true so it's like I almost want to I, well, I wish we'll, we'll I would like to know we'll probably figure it out at some point um but it's also there's also like a Isayama is having another chapter coming out that we've heard about. It's either oh, yeah. like and and people are unsure if it's just about like what is it? Just an artist book attachment? Yeah. I, I'm under the impression this is just me. I feel like it's a continuation, maybe an epilogue. Who knows? Maybe it's even the nuclear arms part. Maybe that's not shown in the manga, and they're doing like a really they're just yeah. revealing that. And maybe this was a full experience for everybody for the first time. Yeah. Well, we'll know when we go to Discord and see if people are freaking out or not. If something just happened that hasn't happened in the manga yet. And none of us have read the manga uh, yeah. at this point. Um, but, I, like, I guess the only thing I could really see people being mad about, and I don't really know how I feel about it, is maybe, like you said, it kind of ended in a I mean, we safe, really scot-free. Like, I mean, hell, even the cliff scene that I thought was about to be the most horrid thing... Didn't really end I mean, up being. It, it, it was horrid for the people falling, but at the same time, it was like an awesome display of the human spirit because everybody, in their moment of peril, knew to save like, that baby, which yeah. is a crazy. That, that was like one of the craziest moments for me because that was so yeah. awesome. And the fact that it actually worked, too, and that it, yeah, and that it worked. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just maybe, maybe by the fact that people, you know didn't die as much. Maybe also just Aaron's... I think the show's just scarred. Like, man. the Aaron's, like, culmination type of thing. You know, what he yeah. really, like, came to. 
and his thoughts that he spoke to Armin, like maybe that is what set people off. Um, I'm sure probably people probably felt the way about that whole, like, I don't want Mikasa to be with anyone. I want her to, like, always love me, at least for, like, another ten years. I feel like people had to have thought that was kind of goofy. Um, right. It's also weird that Aaron never made it. Like, he has this godlike power at his disposal, but then it seems like the godlike portion ends any time the plot conveniently needs it to end for him. Like, why would he only let his memories go up to a certain point so he can't see the future or is it because he's just simply not a part of that future so it only ends up to where he gets his neck cut off so like where did that where did that ever end why did it only go so far i have maybe it's because titans do in fact end because that that would be the, like the impression because the idea of the founding is that you are connected to everybody who's ever had it so you would also be under the impression of everybody at long after aaron if that boy in the dystopia ever grabs onto it assuming it's the same you know, well, Aaron, sure. Aaron also knew that because he remember he, Historia states that she knew everything that was going to happen up until a point. So she knew that LD, the LDN curse would be lifted and that they would be left to clean up the pieces of the aftermath of the lo- losing of 80,000 or 80 percent of all humanity. Mm-hmm. So he did know up to a certain extent what was going to happen. He just couldn't change it. That's why I almost feel like maybe it isn't... I don't know. I keep going back and forth. Because even... Like, Aaron saying that he's mad at himself or he feels stupid because of the decisions he make is, he made is one thing. But then on the flip side, there's also that Ymir is pushing him towards this the whole way. Like, Ymir's pushing Mikasa. Ymir's pushing Aaron to a certain point. You know what I mean? Like yeah. so, it's like, and even you know, even Ymir was influencing Zeke or playing on Zeke's feelings to control. Well, no, Ymir was literally controlling all of the previous Titan users, right. and Zeke was able to break through to the ones that they had like a personal connection with to yeah. to make the change. And then he's also to say the worm, whatever you want to call it, doesn't have any agency or like will in any of this because as soon as it's detached it's like fighting to get to errands so how do we even know that they are not slave to the worm at the end of the day because they they framed in a way that they made it seem like Ymir had a lot of purpose in all of this when you know Aaron hugs her and gives her that choice what do you want to do with you know being free now do we do we save the world or do, do we crush the world um, and those two seem to be towards the crushing, but it's like, what does a worm have in it? Like, what is it? I don't know. I, well, I feel like the worm is almost like literally Ymir. But it's, it's ironic that the option would be to kill when that thing needs a Connections. host. Yeah. It's, it's, well, it's like Zeke said, like, <laughs> it's, the, it's the complete opposite of what the worm would want. The worm would want, the worm would want the multiplication, yeah. which is what humans want, because it's life, life and life. They both want to multiply. Um, but at the end of the day, like Ymir, Ymir and Aaron ended up going towards more of the Zeke route, just in a complete other sense. So it's just all it's well, just funky. Well, but you got to remember is that it only attached itself to like Eldian people. Sure. So I, that, I, but I, so I it suppose. Can, I mean, that, well, that is the rule setter. The worm is the thing that sets the rule of whoever it hosts to. Yeah, but it never changed. Like, the worm never went and, like, detached itself to Marleyan people or Anya Capone's people right. or the people that were in the beginning of season four. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like it doesn't, it never, it, its destiny was set or its attachment to the race was set at the beginning of the series or at the beginning of this it went to what it's familiar with. Yeah, so it stays with that. So I guess, like, you could say the worm was still fighting for its survival to multiply because it was eradicating all of its enemies on the planet. You know what I mean? Because Aaron was protecting the Eldians. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, it's My brain hurts. <laughs> it's confusing. I feel like it is really confusing. My head hurts. My brain hurts. <sighs> Um, it's like a symbiote. That's how I'm deciding to choose. Like, yeah, it's basically right. just Venom rules. It wants to survive on something. Yeah, I know people like jokingly on the Discord give me credit for the aliens thing, but it doesn't even really feel like aliens. It just feels like it kind of looks like aliens. It's, it's just a, a life form on 
our planetary system. Yeah. Earth, Earth, whatever you want to call this. Earth without Earth 716. A, yeah, Earth that survives the nuclear holocaust. It's crazy. Earth that has big naked people. Right. What what a oh my gosh. I mean, talk about just the switch up of feelings and just over stimula overload this episode as well. It was crazy. Like I was wondering like how would they geographically frame this in the manga because there ain't no way it makes sense in the manga. I mean, these characters are swishing and swashing everywhere and every which way for like 20 straight minutes yeah. in the Battle of Heaven and Earth, which was our first chapter. Um, nitpicky thing, how'd you feel about not the colorized? I, you know, I kind of wanted colorized. Uh, like when you see them, it, you kind of want to see how those Titans look. You know, I really you wanted to see how like they were designed, like they were actually like the colors, like which parts flesh, yeah. which parts rock. like even for a moment. I just want to see like what each of them look like, like when they detach or something. Especially the Ram off. Titan dude, the Cassaver or whatever his name is. I want to see what that looks like so bad. I think the in-world explanation is that they were armored Titan, you know, right. created well, yeah. beings. So like that's why they look like Warhammer Titan. Or whatever. Sorry, yeah, Warhammer There's Titan. Just goop. I feel like I called. I probably called the. Warhammer armored like t- hundred times this episode. So. No, I mean, yeah. but yeah, yeah, I, I, they're I understand. But I, I, I no, feel you're like, right. I'm just saying, I was just saying I'm, in world explanation. I agree with you. What I'm gonna be the fu- I'm the last person to call someone else lazy for their work. <laughs> and Mappa has been proven to not be lazy. They're in fact overworked. And yeah, please support. <laughs> please support Mappa's like artists and stuff because they're working in crunch time in every series. Yes, don't but I just wish that it somehow they could have found a way to colorize it a little bit. Right. But here's but I'm the not going to ask them to work harder because they literally don't see their <laughs> families yeah. ever. Yeah, I mean, that's... Poor people that that's, signed on to work there. That's fucked the situation they work in. But that also might have been Isayama's that direction. Like That might have been what he wanted at the end of the day. So that might be more of a him critique of like, hey, why didn't you want them to be in full like glory you know so right. which is just wild I mean like the amount of I was cool I loved I actually that was one of the things I really really loved is being able to see every different um nine titan user yeah. and see what they looked like you know and especially when it was the ones like we recognize it. oh shit there's Porco you know there's uh, his brother you know there's Ymir or whoever and then it's like oh shit there's just like a random like badass like archer looking one you know what I mean like all the yeah. soldiers I think there's one that looks like a cow <laughs> yeah okay. that, okay. that actually okay. that leads me to uh like like some of my personal feelings that I was like having like the emotions trying to like be there with the show I think it's because there's just so much happening that it was really hard to like jump from like craziness to oh Jean and Reiner Jean and Reiner holding on to each other and they're under yeah. this magnificent painting esque like like you said like, I was like Yo. Renaissance painting design and I'm just I can't I couldn't even like put myself there because it's like we go to that and it's just crazy shot crazy shot and I Mikasa with the angel wings behind her but it's I'll save actually, you all it's actually Falco just <laughs> right. flying in for the day. I also okay. I'll just, I'll say this. I might, maybe I'm a, listen. I'm I'm critical. This is like my fa- favorite show, so I'm gonna be critical. There's so many music, so many songs I wanted to be in this, and none of them were in it. <laughs> oh really? And in fact, they actually chose a lot of songs. Uh, most of it, I think, was recycled music, except for that bit of Mikasa at the tree. I've not heard that song, but a lot of this was recycled bits, and they chose a lot of songs that I'm not particularly interested in. Because we had when we had a big final epilogue sequence that was like really victorious, they were choosing like a really like poppy song. I'm like, I don't want that for like the the ending of the show, and this uh, it was just little nitpicks like that. But on the flip side, I want to that Renaissance painting. I love the sequence of whatever those were. The Titans either staring at them or dead, and we had like the the shot of Mikasa with the wings was so <laughs> glorious. Falco, the chicken flies. Yeah, he's like he's gotta be like second favorite Titan design. Now that was so cool. He looks like way different than I remember him looking in the yeah, show. So he looks nothing. He, looks nothing. he, that he doesn't look like a chicken anymore. He looked like uh, he's huge. He looked like a Pokemon bird. I mean, honestly, Bro, he's that's the, the only Titan that constantly evolves like a Pokemon. Yeah. That's crazy. And that was because Zeke's spinal fluid was in him too, right? I would, I believe so. He's yeah. like a hybrid. How did that manage? 
Like that that's crazy. That came up he's out of nowhere. The jaw, too. We won't get any answers to that. No, that's the thing. He is the yeah, jaw, he's the but, jaw, he's but he's also he, the bird. Beast. <laughs> but he also the bird for He's real. the bird, motherfucker. Like how we never manipulated this kind of stuff in warfare during all these years of having Titans. I thought these guys mixed blood all the time and tried to get results. How we never come up with something like this? Maybe they did and you know, in never fairness. Worked well. it, yeah. It we just had Saber, who never fought. Yeah, I mean, how, what, 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 are, what are the odds that you know? I know that was effective. Why would you what? not want a ram? The rams felt effective. Bro, you could just be headbutting people. Well, he looked like a dork. He probably wasn't a good fighter. <laughs> That's probably why. I mean, let's be real. Armin fighting uh, Aaron, like he yeah, whooped it, Aaron's it, ass. Oh, the, the, you mean I'm thinking the Colossals? Man, he didn't really whoop his ass. I thought he did. I thought he did well. Bro, when he. Aaron, like, punched through him and sent, like, the fucking pieces of the colossal in the sky that, you know, Levi and Mika said, you know, fucking roll and dodge out of the way of. But anyways, you know, that Saber might have just not been a good fighter, so. Yeah. Which is odd, because weren't the warriors chosen because they were exceptionally good soldiers or whatever? Most of the they, time? They had the good, yeah, they should have been chosen. His way, was his uh, intellect, probably. intellect for just studying Titans. Oh, and he also knew more about Titans than any other person, so. Okay. Um, Fair. Uh, now they have Ryan, no Zeke, doing all the military training. He sucked ass. Right. And right. they like his parents hated him. <laughs> we had a comeback. We had we had Freckles Emir. We had the Galliard uh, twins, or not twins, but brothers. Grisha Kruger. Um, am I missing any? There was a kid. I feel like in the background, but I don't know if that's supposed to be. Porco's I think it's Porco's brother. Porco's brother. Cause, Porco's okay, brother. we only saw Marcel as a like little kid. I think I didn't. I thought Bear told a teenager, but yeah, God, Bear told. Yeah, I think that's all of them. That was nice. I, I like seeing Kruger and Grisha out. And I'm mad they didn't bring any of their voice actors back at all. For at least one line, I want to hear Grisha talk one more time. <laughs> It's like or Kruger. Kruger had a tough ass voice. They were as huskish as the other husks, yep. unfortunately. Just kind of. Just hearing Bernie's whiny little voice again. Bernie. Bernie. Um. Yeah. Yep, Annie came back. That was nice. I mean, a lot of the super. I mean, the, if you want to ever have a time to call plot armor in a show, other than Reiner through the entire show, our characters this entire episode. I mean, they, like. Died seven times over in this uh, this one episode alone, or four episodes, you want to call it. I mean, it's a miracle that they were able to pull this off. And I think that's where I'm talking about, like, uh, like getting away too easy. Yeah. I mean, holy crap, the odds were against us, but not really. Not yeah. Really. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing is like it it played out almost too well, and the fact that Aaron was able. I mean, or you or Titan chopped Mika up. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just it's just crazy that we really didn't lose that much. I'm oh, surprised Jean. Levi survived all of this. Yeah, Connie and Jean's back like broke three times, and they, they came out. They also became, they became Titans. Titans. <laughs> they still survived. Yeah. Peak got eaten like five times. Still survived. Um, I'm just trying. To I also to thought her stamina thing. thing. I, I could be wrong, but. I thought her stamina thing was that she could be in Titan form for like months at a time. That's yeah. how they frame. But I guess it that, translates that, to yeah. you can also transform a movie. They, they well, framed it like that's that. what she said this episode, but I feel like that's not how they portrayed it. No, the first you're, you're couple right. episodes. In, it was uh, season four, episode three, when they, they give us the shot. listing. They they give us the listing of all the powers, and they describe her specifically as a long term like Titan user um, for like long missions. So she's always doing operative, special operative. Um, yeah, you know, probably sci not sci up. I was it called? <laughs> special uh, operations, sci <laughs> black ops, black ops. She's wandering under- around like you guys suck. Sorry, Kale. I was trying to find that shot of me because so you're talking about her, right? Probably around here. There oh, it is. I mean, that's so stunning. Before that, uh, yeah, a couple seconds. <laughs> oh my! No God. matter how many times you attack, I, I was like, what is happening? What am I looking at? Yeah, that was. It's a, great a super show. deceiving. The image. final power of the Ackermans: you get wings and tails. <laughs> <laughs> um, just scrolling through the episode for anyone wondering, just looking at the images. <laughs> Ugh. I don't like mappas or what. <laughs> I'm you got. Ju- it got I'm looks, just be real. It looks <laughs> kind of looks like a dumbass. I didn't like weird. it. They showed him uh, with Hanji. Yeah. I didn't mind it there because I was crying so. I was over, I was overwhelmed with emotion, but yeah. I think this is a WIT thing for me for just getting used to it. Yeah. I think they they perfectly got Armin. 
And this was nice. Uh, we, we saw every single face of like, most of our characters. Yeah. Mike, I can't remember. Petro. We called him uh, Kazuya back in the day. Yeah, great. That shot goes hard. That's like a screensaver type shot. Yeah. Levi. Levi's got to be like one of the easiest Levi. screensaver anime characters right. by far. Yeah. He has so many cool stances and poses. Also, just prop, props to really cool Titan designs. It's a sh- Once again, it's a shame that we didn't get more time with these ancient Titan thingies because they looked amazing. Yeah, there are some really good designs for it. Um, I want to see... I mean, surely these are well-known, so I want to see if people like... Prop, do props to Armin's voice actor for the whole self-hatred scene, bro. I was tearing up. That shit yeah. fucked me up really bad. Speaking of the... Like, get up, you're useless. I hate you. The older Titan scenes when they were in the palm. That sequence with the ram holding uh, Armin. Yeah, that was cool. That's, that's probably my favorite shot in the whole episode. That was cool. There yeah, was a lot of shots I really loved. Yeah, we were right. It was definitely tough to see Armin like mad at himself for still surviving at, at that point. It literally made me have the perhaps I was too harsh on this boy at the beginning. Because yeah. when I first watched the show, I was shit on Armin so bad. Yeah. I was like, bro, he's fucking useless. He just sits around and cries. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's, he ruined me. I remember when I saw the first few episodes, I were just, uh, like, back before we started the reaction, I saw the first six or whatever. I really didn't like the English voice actor for Armin. He was super annoying. But the Japanese one, it's just, he won me over so quick. Yeah, he was one of my favorites for season one. It was, like, yeah. him, Erwin, in the late game, and I think gone for just being a realist. Armin's always had a sweet spot. And speaking of Armin, the next big sequence was... Uh, him and Zeke. Zeke yeah. Holy cow, I didn't even really put that in my mind that those two have never interacted prior to... <laughs> oh, hi, Aaron's friend. <laughs> I know. They've never talked. I don't know your name. And that was cool. Like, it... It was a little hard to sell that Zeke, um... would be willing to listen, but it makes sense because he's been here forever, and he's he's come to no conclusion on his own through his own ideology. Okay, at the end of the day... A million years of or infinite time stuck with yourself and no solution. Yeah. When presented a, a new one, finally, that's more uplifting and a different alternative. Well, and he also, you gotta remember too, he spent a really long time there before Aaron got there. Right. Then Aaron got there. They right. had their whole, he had, he got his mind broken right. by what Aaron revealed to him. And then Ymir chose Aaron. So he was like, well, I'm kind of done at this point. I never think that makes sense. What do you mean? When people try to conceptualize infinity in my mind, why do you have to wait forever? Because technically, when you're in infinity, it's everything at all at once. So when you're yeah. there, technically speaking, Aaron shouldn't be there at the same time. Because it's a place that's not linear. It's just, uh, it's just... Yeah. So... But Aaron does... I guess it's just for story's sake. They're doing what they can, but... Yeah, I mean, I guess that's true. But also, there's a point where it's like... You could also just argue that... Zeke doesn't have the founding. So he doesn't really have the... Everything everywhere all at once. More so kind of just like what's relevant to him... At once. If that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, that would be it's like, like it's my, like he's in his own ignorance. That would be my best to see. Yeah, yeah, it could it could be honestly it could be something like that because yeah. even today it was like you see what you see in baseball or the leaf. True. So maybe it's Ze- Zeke's in his own thoughts until he's like, oh, Aaron. Yeah, I was wondering and waiting for you. It's only been yeah. like a fraction of a second of a second. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, then we got the whole yeah the life whole sequence life. What's sand, the purpose? Sand castles with Uncle Zeke. <laughs> I like I like that he kind of got through to him on just the the like precious moments of life make it worth living topic. Just the simple moments. Yeah, like you don't have to. Death doesn't have to be the end result of life, and like it be the meaningless. You know, right? You don't the, live to die. Die. Yeah. You live. For you the live to live. Lives. You live to do the yeah. things you enjoy. Like he said, he would love to just throw the baseball. With Mr. Zaver more for yeah and for an eternity for an eternity it was, for nothing it was just fun yeah it was what he enjoyed doing started running towards the hill he felt like there was a need to have to beat them at the race I didn't really understand what that necessarily was. I don't think he said beat them I think no. he just said he was destined to run run with the them. race with them okay not to get there never to them. not to compete but to just be with his friends like that was all his 
life meant at that point was to be with his friends. Yeah, yeah. I meant that thought into my head that maybe I would have been born to race Mika son Aaron. Well, that's why I thought race is in like implying get to the destination before the other. But he said he was always last. Every time they went and did this right. situation, he was always last. Like, that's the thing. I don't think Armin ever lived his life competing to beat Aaron at anything. Like, they didn't have, like, that type of friendship. Armin was just always along for the ride. And also, like, you understand the dynamic of, like, Mikasa actually would win every single time, but she chooses to let Aaron win. Armin is incapable, but he wants to be with his friends at that point. Oh, that's a crazy, that's a crazy statement. Mikasa is always able to take out Aaron. She yeah. just chooses not to. Yeah. Armin, if given the choice, might, but can't. <laughs> yeah. What an impossible situation. Um... Damn, I would really want to re at some point go through that conversation again fully with um, Zeke and Armin. Yeah. But we return to the fight. That stupid. Free to Armin. Elk. Rock, so what is that? Launcher. Animal? Is that? I'm about to look African? it up. It's, what is it's that? It's got to be a sh- offshoot of like a cow. It looks cow. It looks like uh, one of it those. It kind of looks like, like uh, what's his face from Naruto. It looks like it should have horns. Like an ant. What's the gin Cherokee? Will the killer killer bees? Killer bees is an octopus. Yeah, but it kind of has its face. <laughs> like killer bee doesn't have killer bees doesn't have an octopus face. It just it has, has a, a moose. The okapi, also known as the forest giraffe. <sighs> it's a forest it's giraffe. It's a zebra giraffe. What, what the fuck? Look at this thing. What country? What is the that? fuck are you? Um, I don't know. It didn't even look like that. that thing. This thing ran like a cart dog. Oh yeah, it was. Well, <laughs> this one looks like a titan in a table game. <laughs> that one was so weird. The t- the tortoise looking snake that catched on. Show guys. Zeke's cheeks. I want to see his funny <laughs> butt yeah. yeah. That thing had its like long tongue that kept on shooting at Armin. It was pissing me off. If they're from the Congo. The Congo, okay. So, so that is an African creature. Yeah. Damn. From the northeast Congo. I hadn't seen that DLC Jean! before. Never seen that creature. Um, just keeps popping these things out. Yeah. Yeah. Also, Sean. Levi taking out Zeke was unreal. Oh I really did not gosh, expect dude, that. It that was been so, so fast. That was like my probably my favorite anime moment of the year. That was so funny, and it also <laughs> makes sense to do. I I literally said I said it's on site. Like it doesn't matter. Like you already tried to be on our side prior. It <laughs> said fuck you. So <laughs> I didn't even recognize it. <laughs> Leave, I hit you with the la fuck you slice. <laughs> yeah. I think the thing that sucked about it was it just happened so fast, and then it was already like, all right, on to the next, like, literally, uh, right. colossal titan stepping on the ground. We got shit to do. That's what I'm saying. I mean, of course, we realized that. Because that's the, the end control. of Z- The end of Zeke's arc was him accepting. And I think you're right. I think, Armin. I think even when we're dealing with episodes like Hero and Armin's getting cooked, we at least have like three more minutes and then it's like all right now we can talk about it i can like feel my feelings yeah or this it's like I'm, I'm not used to that with this format yeah well that's the thing is like i when you're i feel the best movies that you watch american form whatever they are i feel that they are movies where you have a moment to breathe to you have a moment to live to and feel, feel in the story the things that are always annoying is when you watch those movies where it's constant dialogue and things are always happening it's like boom 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 right. not like you want a movie to drag on but you want it to slow down a little bit whereas like this they're just trying to jam everything in so I feel well, there was a moment where they turned Jean and Connie yeah and you know all of them to Titans and I was like bro like I, I, f- I didn't even get the like euphoria of oh we made it out of the situation. Yeah. Now we're already getting gassed. Now they're titans. Ryan are like, and then I was sad that like our characters couldn't even feel anything because now they're being like Reiner's being eaten by his uh, his, own his own mom and his friends, and, his friends. and taken on the beast of the world against him. Armin's punching Aaron. I didn't even like. I couldn't even process that Aaron was a col- uh, a colossal. Like it's a grand moment. I'm just like brain dead. It's such a cool design Listen, too. I know it's operator error. My brain's just not functioning. But no. I feel like some okay be put on the show as well. To give you credit, I think it's also there's just so Whoa. much happening at certain points. Like it's, you can't keep up with it. It is also like one of those things too. It's like I've waited so for long. so long, and I know yeah. so many other people have waited so much longer than us. Um, <laughs> Shut up. Like, I mean, like, some of you guys have been out here since since 2013, 10 years ago, and 
like it's just it's hard it's hard and and especially for like the non-manga readers who haven't had time to like digest it who are just anime onlys anyway my favorite part was honestly probably reiner decking the giant worm yeah that was i mean that was so unhinged him standing his ground against it that's like such an anime moment that was my favorite part what Historic give it birth for one second and anyway. <laughs> yeah, I like this happened. Another nuke, and I was like, how? Well, it was even the way it was portrayed too. Like, Aaron nukes the ground to just to transform, and Gene's like, Sean's just like, eh, man, I figured. <laughs> and then we just keep going. I was like, what the fuck? It? Look how cool he looks. He did look he awesome. Does look awesome. Look at his final ass ball. I think I like Armin's build more. I do Armin looks way better. Looks cool. I actually really appreciate oh. the detail they put into Armin's um, colossal this time around. I love that Armin gripped the shit out of Baron's hair and just <laughs> yanked him and punched him right in the face. He's, yeah, Baratolds looked really cool too. I liked how Baratolds was. Look at that Even demon. Was, that is actually the demon of parody. Dude, yeah. Armin's awesome. Yeah, and then more chaos ensues. We continue the second part. Gas. <laughs> they get cast. Mom, yikes! Trauma, and then this is when we right. start to relive Aaron's right. communication he had with everybody throughout. You know, time. He had some kind of otherworldly experience with them to give them his like final message of what he wants when everything is done. So th- is this in the, her head, or this? This is ju- it's just like, actually run away at some point. In no, I think years. this is Armin. Like Armin, how Armin got to relive a moment with Aaron, or multiple moments with Aaron. I think this is the same thing for yeah. Mikasa. Okay. It seems as if like Aaron just has complete illusion powers. Yeah, when it comes Loki. to the founding. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, he wasn't it him who showed uh, Zeke to Grisha. Like it was, it wasn't Zeke who was doing it. People explained in the comments that it was purely Aaron's power who allowed Zeke to have a moment with Grisha back in four X, whatever that episode yeah. was. You know, the big, big one. Yeah. Um, so I, I guess Aaron is just god tier when it comes to. But that's that's where I think it's just like silly because he has like such capabilities, and then at the same time he's so unable to do anything. Well, so that's the thing. Is like frustrating. I think he's unable to do anything, but it's also he has godlike build abilities when it comes to his people. You know, he right. can't go into Anya Capone's mind and do anything to him. True. He can't change how other people feel in the world. Like he can, with the founding ability, he could erase all of Eldia's feelings about anything and make them a passive people. Yeah. And make them not believe that anything happened in the world, but he can't change what the world thinks. So at the end of the day, like he still is, he still is not in control of everything. And ha- and like we talked about earlier, and like he brings up, he had to make the best decisions he could, even though he's an idiot and failed at it. And with and a, he, and a limited he, power, <laughs> like a limited power scale or whatever. And he did say his goal was to eradicate all. Correct. That is what he said. He confessed that he didn't even want just eighty. He wanted the whole thing, right? Yeah. He wanted to level everything. He wanted nothing to be. Yeah. Well, we're looking. But he at also, sequels. but the second thing was he also wanted to like give an opportunity for his friends to try and hate him and stop him, and by pushing them away and turning on them, and make them make them become heroes so they're respected right. throughout the world. So that maybe that'll be like the security blanket for parody. Yeah. Was like oh the. People that they killed his own people killed him. They they weren't with him. Yeah. I think it's almost like Aaron saw if I had if I had a I guess my own personal elaboration on it is like Aaron saw the way the world was going to end no matter what, because he still had his feelings and he was still driven by the freedom that he was born with. Because he's driven by that he knows that the world's going to end a certain way, so he just decided to add the spin of, like, hey, let me see if I can get my friends to stop me. And if there is any way they stop me, even if it's only a little bit, then maybe there's a future, a hopeful future, than just, like, the actual destruction of humanity. Mm. I don't know. Once again, idiot with too much power. Yeah. Because that is such a stupid... It's still such a stupid plan. Uh, we have on the screen... Aaron and Armin as children, but while that's playing and these boys are eating, I was just going to say the other thing that we had was Mikasa and 
Aaron talking, and he he wanted her to forget him. At least that's what he said to her, not confess to Armin. Because it turns out, when he's talking bro talk, he in fact does love her. I think that was what's so frustrating. Like, we went through all this, and like, he... At the end of the day, he just couldn't tell her that he loved her. Yeah. Which is really frustrating to me. Yeah. He... Like, and you've known this. Like, we've known this for so long. Since the dawn of this show, it's been so abundantly clear. And... I mean, is it because he's been caught in the web of his own making, and he... It's just like he knows it can't be a thing? It's it's like he's fighting destiny because he can't just get her? Like, well, why couldn't he just never have said it? I Well, but that's the thing, is he's trying to... Like, whenever he comes of age where he realizes this, this is a thing, and I would assume it's after all the events leading up to season three where it's like, oh, you'd really feel a certain type of way. That was really creepy, by the way. Sam had the shot where they're seeing the the rivers of fire and side Aaron's eyeing like side-eyeing Armin. I'm like, man, what the hell is going on in little demon Aaron's head? But anyways, to me, it's just the reason why he doesn't do it is be, even though he wants to, he's trying to... Like, he is going to do horrible things. He's trying to separate his friends as much from that as possible. And he doesn't get that realization until the metal, you know, or kissing, you know, Ymir, where he gets the influx of all the memories and everything. So that from then on, he decided, I'm just going to be a dick. I'm going to be an asshole. I'm going to do all these things, then make my friends hate me to prevent them from being brought down into my my hell, my, the, you know, the world that I'm creating, all the shit that's going to happen. I love that bit. Arm Punch the just shit out of his best friend. Socking him. I also, yeah. He's like, he's the like, fuck's yeah. your problem, bro? Well, he's like, stop playing with the girl's feelings. Do you want, um, fuck, I'm brain dead now. <laughs> I'm literally so tired. <laughs> Sorry, I had a moment. I love the little intro to the, like, <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, do you want her to live happily after? And he was just like, I don't know. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. And he was like, man, what the? F- yeah, like, fuck you. That's our best friend. Far, dick. <laughs> you can't. You haven't even like thought about how you want it to be. And that's why I like that. That that's why I like the moment because he like actually confessed. Like I want her to cry out in my name for ten at least ten years long after I'm gone. That's what I want, Armin. I want her to love and appreciate me for who I am. But I think that's, like, the frustrating part, because, like, I th- he does want it. And that's, and that's why I was wondering, at what point did he come to this realization? Because it, too many years too late. You realize that you love her after you've realized that you put, you're going to put yourself into an endless cycle. Like, it's, it's, the, it's the thing with the seashell. Like, this dude can't even realize what he has in front of him to appreciate. He's always looking out to the next best, like, whatever else could be out there. And the freedom. Yeah, but that's what's so frustrating to me, because... It's like his ideas of grandeur are just so superior in his mind to just the things he actually had. Like, I'm not saying life would have been good had he never went on this crusade. Well, honestly, Reiner and Barrett told started that, but I just wish. Like I said in the Discord, I just want to go back to Shigan Shina and Ignorant Bliss. Yeah. Where just Titans are outside the world. Bliss. Where just Titans are outside the wall and just bothering us, but no one was getting harmed unless Erwin or whatever his name is, Commander Yeller, wasn't going out beyond. Yeah. Yeah. I think, um... I was gonna do... Uh, I was gonna be like... Do a bit. You, yeah, I was gonna do a bit. Have you ever watched, Sam, I know Sam has a kill. Have you ever watched Anthony Fantano? I have. I was gonna be like, I'm feeling a light to uh, solid five. <laughs> That's a joke. What does that mean? Anthony Fantano is like a music critique, or a, uh, yeah, I don't know, whatever. He he reviews albums when they come out, and he's super super critical, and he reviews like all kinds of music. It's not a certain type, and he always he's like even albums. You would be like, oh, this is really good. He would be like, yeah, I'm feeling a light four on this one, like four out of ten. So like he just always is super critical. So I was just trying to be funny with that. Anyways. What are you gonna give this light four out of ten? No, I'm not giving that a light four out of ten. I uh, I'm, I might just for the stupid reason that Aaron's giving the reason for why he did all this shit because he said he didn't even do it for you guys. 
Because he said he did it, then he realized I'm the only, I'm the, only, the main reason for why Sasha and all these guys die. This is bullshit. No, I didn't. Aaron, you're free. <laughs> Like this, is, this was like the most aggravating scene to me. Is this this full conf confession? Even since he t shared to Ramsey that he was disappointed, I wanted to level everything. I wanted to see this sight. Why? Like what? Why? I don't know. I just wanted to. I don't know. I like this. So but that's but that's shit. what but that's, that's what I'm it, saying man. is like I don't feel. I mean, he's the he's worse than Ryaner by far, calling people half ass pieces of shit. Maybe he's projecting super hard there, then. Well, he did say in that moment, I'm worse than you, Reiner. Yeah, so he still wanted to, but he realized his work was futile because everyone still ended up dying. I well, you know, it's because I'm an idiot. I'm ready. He got his hands on power. I don't know. I feel like that's such a simple explanation for why this doesn't work. It well, it also just it's confusing because it. <laughs> why did everything feel so planned out? But it, then it just feels like it's just a big, like accident. Like oh, because I got it. Like, why is this set in stone? Why is this specific? Like. The chicken and the egg only exist for this instant instance and then everything outside of Aaron's will is that predestined or is it free will? Or is this whole world operated by predestination? Is there any like urgency in anyone's lives? Or is everything set in stone? Like I'm I'm getting confused mixed vibes. Because it feels like there's no free will in this show at all. With this, this whole explanation. But that's how I've always felt. That it's always been predestined. Like, no one's had any urgency. But that, I mean, that's how I've always felt, is that... It, well, not that nobody... Again, I, like I've said it before. Eldians. Eldians don't have a free will. They are all connected through the paths. They all, are all bound by Ymir's curse and what Ymir has lived through. And, like, the, the ultimate decision that her spirit has made to put them on this path. They are stuck that way. The way the world turns out... I mean, clearly, because the Attack Titan has, can send forward memories backward, that a little bit of the world... Is, I mean, the world has to have some predestination to it, but at least, like, the actions and the feelings of our characters. Like, because even Armin owning up that, like, well, I'm the one who kind of puts you on this way, and Aaron's not, like... Aaron's not openly admitting, like, yeah, you know, I sent the thought to baby Armin to do this kind of thing. It's kind of like it was already instilled in Armin to do something anyways. So it doesn't really feel like it's free will. That's why I feel like his answer just doesn't make sense. That that it's just because at, he's an or idiot. Or at best, it's just his understanding. Of his it. understanding of it. I'll take that he's an idiot. He just doesn't understand that he doesn't have control over the situation. Okay, at this point, I'm losing the plot. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm lost in the sauce of not understanding anymore. I thought I understood, but clearly I don't. Yeah, this was looking off in the distance. Seashell time, hug it out. They showed us head. Right, that that was probably the closest I got to like feeling emotions because we were able to sit with Armin for like a, a fraction of a moment for him to hug the head. <laughs> so morbid. Yeah. The morbidity of it all also was really hard to like get emotionally involved because I Mikas was kissing a head. Yeah, it was very gross. Freaking the, the you know, Ymir's just staring creepily as the teeth are broken behind her. All very disturbing imagery more than anything. So isn't that the worm? Yeah, hold on. Then back to that. Unless, um... Oh yeah, that is the worm. You were right, Caleb. I should wow. fucking die. Its last, its last goal was to try to make them all titans. Well, listen. I still think titans exist. I do too. I'm gonna roll with the train of thought that somehow Aaron's decomposed super titan head made a new worm or something. Well, I, I think his and personal head, tree. his personal head, clear that that giant tree is definitely a titan tree specific. For sure. So, and I'm fine with that. He told me. I actually that, love that. He told me that the outcome you bring about through your choices is to erase the power of the titans from the world. Well, that was his ultimate goal when he was a kid. He wanted to get rid of all the Titans. I get, yeah, he he actually made it. 
See, I'm happy. Because all I wanted was Aaron to win. At what cost? <laughs> Fuck it, we ball. <laughs> Fuck it, we ball for real. Get, rum- a- get rumbled, stay humble. Stay humble. Uh, you didn't even do the sound right. Uh, did you? He did it though. He saved all of his. <laughs> all of the people that mattered to him were safe. Bro, I can't. I cannot believe this show ended with uh, Oppenheimer. Also, freaking Ymir Fritz talking to me so creepy as hell, man. Yeah, and that was basically it. Then I stopped caring in the epilogue. I didn't care about Historia from being for real. Historia becoming a Lame. dictator. We got uh, the Fourth Reich starting on Paradise Island, which is, you know, fantastic. So are they all Aaron Dick Riders, like, back home now? Yeah. yeah. Like, forever and ever? Yeah. Sick. They yeah, the Aaron's, Aaron's top decay, top decay spirit lived on. If we fight, we win, or whatever their motto is. Yeah. Yeah, and then this part was kind of beautiful at the end. Seeing Mikasa at least have some resolution that's relatively bittersweet, but a promising, at least for her family in her lifetime. Yeah. Was sweet. Um, Bird grabbed her scarf. Okay. And yeah, the show wrapped yeah. up. We got that uh, this amazing Oppenheimer ending. The funniest, let it roll silliest again. time lapse. I mean, how, how crazy. I wish they would have rather zoomed in on this and yes, let me yes. see a more detailed picture of what the fuck That's is old happening. old Mikasa right there. Oh, nice big family. And then, I love it, just pans to the other side of the screen in a second. Yeah, that was sweet. We're looking at the coffin, Mikasa's body right now. She still didn't flowers. get rid of the scarf. No, she didn't. She did not back listen to a word the man back said. To the tree in the rain. City grows, the tree grows. And then I just, I, I just, I couldn't believe it anymore. That city blew up. I was hoping it was gonna be like a real life city that I would be able to recognize. Well, it's look, like, it's it's like Tokyo. King's Landing, honestly. Tokyo two, Tokyo three. Burn, 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 you're telling me it didn't just crash into the No, moon. look at the building. The building's fine. It's it got fine. Shot it might be invincible. It did get shot. It, it might be. too far away. Yeah, it was too far away. It turned Aspect into Aki. Ratio. It turned into Akira. Akira. It turned into, um, fucking Batman Beyond, you poor fucking Gotham. Right. <laughs> just hear the open oh, hand music. <laughs> Those nukes just fall out. It's all I could hear when I saw that. You mean <laughs> this? Yeah, when I saw that. I just find it wild the city was already destroyed and then they're like you know what fuck it we nuke carpet bomb everything I mean this is kind of ballsy to, I mean to go out on a limb and really do this last of us ending right here I, I mean, love I'm, I'm, bro this is I love sh- sh- I love this kind of design to the post apocalypse this was like, easily like, that's, that's why I like the last of us thing. so much but it makes my stomach hurt because it feels like Juman. Finding, finding the Jumanji box after we finally got uh, got it gone. Yeah. It's coming back. But, like, this is also, like, a millennia worth of trauma that is now going to rear its fucking ugly head again once once more. This is why music is key at certain moments, because think of how it would have felt if, like, you heard, like, Vogel on Kefig or something like that. You heard, like, the dreadful music. Sorry, it's track in the show. Okay. It's the it's the track where uh, Aaron fights the female Titan. The reveal of uh, Bertold and Einar, uh, Einar uh, Reiner. If something like that played, the you know the like the piano keys just building up to oh shit. Like that, I think they they missed out on a couple really good moments to use. I know people in the comments are agreeing with me on that one. They missed out. I mean, we have some of the best selection of anime music at our disposal. And they just didn't utilize a lot of it, yeah. They fumbled the bag with this one, the music. I'll be honest. Um, but it's all good. <sighs> what is it? Adventure time. Oh. Genuine reactions, honest reviews, fun discussions. Gamer moves. No, um, no bullshit here. Yeah, that's true. 
Okay, so what, uh, so we have to. This is. I mean, it's getting late at this point. It's it like is. it's almost like one a.m. Yeah. So what is? What's everyone's thoughts? I mean, where are we? Where are we sit now? What do, what do we feel at the end of this now? I'm fine with this. I'm happy with it. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm okay. Listen, most of the shows I watch, I'm not like over satisfied with the ending. It's it's what the, the the writers want for their stories, and that's okay. I've enjoyed the journey. It's a, what is it? It's not about the destination. It's about, it's the, about journey. the journey. It's about the journey. I know it's corny. Yeah. But it's true. I'm not going to honestly. My big takeaway from this it might sound crazy. Is nuclear holocaust. It, it, it just it ultimately the show is about like the decisions you make and sometimes a few a few people even a hundred people can't control the course of humans and it's honestly the whole, the whole show comes down to Armin and Zeke's talk which is the same talk we've had for years now with this show which is ultimately at the end of all things we can't play God the human creation as we know it is too big to control the circumstances that happen, but really it really comes down to what choices can you make in your own personal life? Are you going to sway with the bad direction? And even if it goes to a bad direction, are you going to be the one who was a part of the system, or did you at least try to stop it? And ultimately it just comes down to your own personal journey, I think. Yeah. That's what I take away from this. Yeah. So I, 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 like, I like what we got. The ending suiting. Even if I thought it was clean slate at the end, at least they did the nukes to give the story that I wanted to be told. Yeah. The, the, without the literally without the epilogue, I might not have liked it as much because I kind of wanted a ironic truth to what has been being told is that you can't escape it sometimes. Yeah. The dark end. So, Caleb, I'm good with it. I'm, yeah. I'm I like it. I love it. I'm glad that. It seem, seems like everyone's story arcs got wrapped up in a pretty good way, I guess. Yeah. Zeke's especially got <laughs> wrapped his up with a, a fucking bow and then <laughs> right off. <laughs> but yeah, I liked it. I, I've been waiting for this shit to end for so long. <laughs> yeah. Feels like a chapter of my life is finally closed. And uh, speaking on that before you give your final take, because it kind of goes in hand with it. I actually just remembered they did release the cover photo for what the, the final chapter would be, and it was a I did I did see it. It was a picture of Levi with Gabby and Falco, so perhaps I don't know. I don't know what that means if we're gonna see like where their journey went, but yeah, there you go. Okay. There, there's that. I don't know. Do with that what you will. Yeah, it's all um, nuclear regardless. It's all nuclear. Yeah, I um. I think I think the ending is oh this is so weird because I really don't know how to like articulate what I'm feeling. I feel that it's satisfying and it's not satisfying because it it gives me a a sick feeling because it all amounts to nothing at the end of the day with the little like flashing of the epilogue of what the future holds, and the and my assumption, and your your guys' assumption, as well, of like the Titans ultimately returning, and that this kind of cycle it's, it's, once so, again the endless cycle of violence and, and hatred. It and never hatred, stops. It will never stop, even if you think it stopped. Yeah, it'll find its way to rear its head again. Unfortunately. Yeah. So it's like on one hand, it's it this ending is satisfying because our heroes and our story gets closure. Humanity, like we don't have to deal with this existential threat of titans and treating, you know, other humans as monsters because they physically are un unable to be that at this point. But on the flip side, the war still continues. The hatred that was there has not been fully erased from the world because almost everyone died. Paradise. Or parody, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't even care at this point. Paradise <laughs> is what I call it. I don't give a shit. Paradise is feels they feel a certain way because of how they've been treated, and now they're on the offensive. Now they're the ones in power, and the rest of the world is going to have to manage a way to deal with that. And clearly, Armin and their attempts did not really work by what we saw. And how it all ended out. So that's why it's like it's satisfying for our personal characters, but for the grand scheme of 
the world, it just it makes me sick. And, you know, of course, we don't know, did the entire world get glassed? And now we're in this dystopian Last of Us Walking Dead, you know, end of the world where everybody's got to live off the land and there's no electricity and we're going back to the Stone Age? Or was it just that New Eldia Paradise is like that and the rest got of the world glassed is thriving? Everywhere else is fine now Yeah. Because they killed the big imperial power. Yeah, yeah they, killed, they killed the Nazis at this point. Um, the new Nazis, which are the old, old freedom fighters. Yeah, fuck, man, it keeps happening again. So that's where freedom fighters become evil. That's where I feel. That's where I feel on it. I, I don't even want to give it like a number rating or anything like that. But it, it feel it feels right. But also, I will say I am a little disappointed that it was such a clean, like you said. It was such a clean send-off for our cast. I'm happy that more people didn't die, and the show has been filled with death, so it really didn't need more, but I am just genuinely surprised that we were able to survive that. Even Levi. I mean, Levi, I know, has beat the shit, but <clears throat> the fact that he lived and lived on, like that, him and others, that just surprised me. I mean, Zeke, of course. Zeke and Aaron are the only casualties of this final, you know... Well, that, that's that's arc. that's actually, like, the only reason I... And that's why I said the epilogue, like, the only reason I truly appreciate it, because I don't... I just well, would, yeah. I wouldn't have liked the show, the show's conclusion, sorry, if um, the characters just... Even if a couple of them survived and we rode off to the sun... into the sunset with this idea of... Oh, like, kind of like what we were talking about, like, oh, Reiner, the, the, how we always said he would be the hero, or whoever, Armin... Um, like, oh, they're the heroes that saved us, and we had this situation, like, what they said, like, King Fritz. Like, the people loved King Fritz because they thought, um, or whoever it was, the Tyra family, we thought that they had saved us. And, like, just this idea that all of a sudden everybody's going to be at peace, because, once again, Pixis said it perfectly. As long as there's two people that exist and have differences in opinion, there will be conflict. Yeah. Simple as that. Peace can only exist if two people on both both sides both desire the same outcome yeah <laughs> and they're both willing to meet the same term yeah if they're not this happens that's why the nukes is more realistic than sunset because it's just human nature so i'm satisfied is it safe sure until it wasn't safe at the end yeah but i almost feel it's like and i and i I will say, best case scenario, honestly, this really is the best case scenario of how the story could turn out. I I feel to not ruin the show. Um, but it's also just funny because it was like, I felt like it was just like, a, oh, by the way, you know what I mean? Like, it wasn't even in the episode. It was in a credit scroll. So I assumed that in the manga, it probably would have been like the last like page or two. And it was just like, FYI, this happens. You know what I mean? 200 like, years later. 200 years later, boom, big kablooey, big tree. That doesn't matter because our characters are long dead. Kid walking yeah. into it, you know, like that type of thing. So it, it almost, it almost feels a little cheap, but... I still am okay with it. Like, I'm still okay with where we ended up. I'm still okay yeah. with how it wraps it up together. And that is, I think that's, the, speaking of the curse, that is the curse of having storytelling being so grand because life can only go so far. When it's so grand, it's like, where do you take the story? How how can you have a real conclusion? Because it's uh, literally when it comes to these kind of things, it's either you choose a story where there's peace and we're just assuming that peace is forever or the realism of, peace then war then war to peace then peace to war <laughs> like yeah. it's at, at, at the end of the day you literally have to end the story when it gets to this level of grandeur to choose one or the other and so they chose the show it goes back and forth yeah. nukes dystopia titans removal of titans peace war nukes Dystopia. <laughs> it's just. Yeah. It's uh. It's so what they Repeat say about. It. It's what they say about the Roman Empire and every other uh, structure of civilization. What is it? Weak men make for. Hard uh, times. Hard times. Hard, hard times, times make hard people. Uh, strong men. Strong men make good times. And it's just. Good it's times just. Make it's just. Men. Yeah. yeah. It's how it goes. That is how it goes. Um. The end. Well, yeah, that is our. I am happy to see the, the end. 
I didn't want to see another 2B continued. Yeah. Uh, do we even have a... Do we ever, in all our other Season 4 things, do we do, like, a, a rating of all Season 4? Because now Season 4 is completely done. Obviously. We did. We did for the first the first two. Okay. Perhaps. Yeah, it's, it's a little... It's a little hard and kind of big of a daunting task to have to summarize everything at this point. It's more of specifically just how I feel about these two. Like the, the part two one specials. special and the part two special. Yeah. Um, story's good. The weight was hard. Um, the way in which it's all distributed is intense and a lot to take in at once. And stuff I'm gonna have to chew on for a long time. Yeah. Um, I don't know where this ranks. It's it's not a favorite, though. It has some of the most memorable sequences. I will. Yeah. I will. I, I honestly, if you've obviously listened to the post talk at this point, you've heard me say the nuclear holocaust already like five times. That will never leave my mind now for Attack on Titan. It is easily the, one of the most jarring things I've seen in the show. Yeah. Came out of left field. Hit us with the biggest banger of the ending that I did not expect. Um, so definitely one of the best, most memorable moments in the show for me. Yeah. Entirety of the episode, not a top ten or probably not a top twenty five or because AOT has literally some of the most stellar episodes that it's competing against. Yeah. Doesn't mean it's bad. No, because the Tag on Titans standard episodes are better than most TV in general. So there you go. Yeah. Rate it for another day. Yeah, I mean, I I would second everything on that. I just I'm not a fan of how it comes out. I I don't like these two hour plus long specials that have taken forever to come out and extended this this story like a lot longer than any of us really. I mean, we wanted to, we wanted to see it end in a good way, and I think it did. I just don't think that. Me personally, I don't prefer it like this. I, I would have rather had the episodes. I think I just need to start becoming a manga guy. It's hard for this channel, but I think I just have to start getting the manga and finish up stories whenever they come out the most convenient of time. Yeah. Um, well, there you have it. So you have definitely liked it. It is what it is. I'll give it a number rating. Okay. I'll give it a 9.5. I thought that was this was great. This I think is exactly yeah. how, me personally, I wanted things to turn out for the rest of the cast by the time mid-season three to season four began. I'll give it a nine as well. Uh, I feel like more just giving the show rating. Like this is like a, the show's like a nine point five entirety. Nine point seven for this the whole episode. Show. It's like a nine eight eight point five. Like it's it yeah. was great. Yeah, I mean, I, I I'd say the show the show is a ten. The show as a whole is a ten, and the and the the this finale I would say it's like a nine point two. It's really good. There's just some things it misses a little. I just something. don't want it to end. I think that's like. I, it's like it's yeah. like we're here. It's we're here. It's over, guys. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. I, unless there is a spinoff, unless these chapters show more of the epilogue for where Levi and the crew go after these years, just to kind of wrap up some of the stories. Because, you know, some of them did get wrapped up really quickly. Like, Levi was just giving lollipops out at the end. Like, all these people into their respective families. We didn't really get to see what the outcome of their old years took them to. Yeah. Which, I, you know, even though we know where it all ends in several thousand years from now, I'd still, like, these are the characters to spend time with. I'm okay with seeing it, maybe a little bit of what they did in their older years. Yeah. So if that's what Chapter 35 or whatever it's called, um, I, I'm interested. Yeah. But as of now, the anime's done. Yeah. It's sad. It actually, yeah, send off. Salute to Sagio. Farewell. I think one of the things that's tough for me is like I, I've I've lived I've lived this feeling so many times. I mean, we've all have watched shows that have come that to an true. end. It's hard, when and it it's hard. I mean, I, I when you were in the bathroom before we started recording, I was talking to Caleb. I was like, man, I'm getting that feeling like when I knew I was finishing Shippuden or Hunter Hunter or Full Metal. Like those are like kind of like the biggest ones that really like I finished that have given me an impact of like man, like I know that this is. Naruto kept going, but whatever. But, like, the other two shows, like, this is, like, the the closing chapter. Like, there isn't more to the story at this point. This is where we're ending off. Um, and it's sad, and I think that Attack on Titan has left, like, a huge impact on me. Um, and it's one of the greatest TV shows to have ever made, so I am... And one of the greatest... Easily. One of the greatest fantasy worlds, mangas, whatever, you, whatever category you want to put it in, it's up there... 
<laughs> Every, music, and, top tier. Voice acting, top, top tier. tier. Storytelling, top tier. Yeah. Cool moments, anime badass, top tier. It's it's top three, and it's not three or two. So, put it where you want. I'm glad, <laughs> like I'm glad you said Full Metal, because this left me feeling exactly how Full Metal's finale yeah, had me feeling. Uh, yeah. Which was right. happy. I was very happy. Hell, I wanted yeah, more from that show, too. Like, I think yeah. that's just, like, the thing. Like, unfortunately, all good things have to come to an end. For sure, and it's, yeah. It's frustrating because it's always the good things that you want to continue, and it's always the bad shit that you're stuck with forever. Like Boruto. Yeah. Like Walking Dead. Like Game of Thrones. <laughs> that show, I, I, do, I do want that to come back. I'd fight someone, John honestly. Snow show. No. If House they, of the Dragons. House of the Dragons I'm cool with. <laughs> they ruined that show. Remake season 8 of Game of Thrones. If they do that fuck shit again, I'd, I'd whoop someone's ass, honestly. I want to fight someone. Dark ended well. Yeah. But this show, and again, actually, I, one other thing. I'm happy that the ending doesn't make me hate the show. That's actually yep. ultimately... Yep. This is a win for me, actually. It's Regard- actually W. Regardless how I feel yeah. about the episode oh. itself, this show, this ending didn't make me hate the show that I love. No, no, no. So because of that, this is a good ending, yeah. actually, overall. That's really what it boils down to. That by itself gets like... this to an 8. If the episode somehow sucked dick, I'd, if the whole episode sucked ass, but the ending part didn't make me hate the show it'd be automatically like a seven and, and a half I just, yeah I, I gotcha, gotcha this yeah. just makes me want to know I'm so curious everybody's thoughts on how that that ended yeah I'm so curious I, yeah. I like I'm I'm like even more curious to know if that's like the first time people have seen I'm like so like do they really do that in the manga I'm, I'm about to like look at the manga as soon as we're like when I hop yeah. in bed tonight to yeah. go check cause I'm so curious yeah. cause that, uh, it blew me away no pun intended it was crazy uh, I don't want to hit. I don't want to say goodbye. Me neither. But it's a late night. To, though. It's, it's, it's over. It's twelve forty-two. So, so one thing I'll say, and we talked about this on one of our other shows, Mob Psycho. The end of this year, we really want to do right. a recap right. of everything we watched this year. Sam and I also talked about doing a recap of the shows we watched previously on the channel, like maybe doing a video of like. Recap of you know 2020 and 2021 and recap of 2022. Just what our thoughts are like on a total review and like where we rank everything year by year. Right. Um, that might be cool. And then also doing one for the end of this year, end of 2023. So maybe look out for something like that. If you want to see something like that, comment down below. Um, and then that also might give us an opportunity to make a video of talking about you know like I'm sure that all of us are either probably going to rewatch this or have different feelings on it after sleeping on it for a couple days right. or night. So and if someone wants a better, more in-depth review or wants to talk about it again with, on more clear heads and not almost right. two in the morning, you know. Yeah, and, and uh, as for the few who have stuck around to this point, just for the, prom- the, the future and AOT-related content, I, I've mentioned before that I might do a video on, you know, Right, ranking where all the episodes are in my, you know, my specific subjective opinion. Uh, after giving it time, I can't. I can't promise it'll be anytime soon. We're heading towards the holidays. I'm about. To, yeah. We're gonna be moving out of this place soon, having a different setup. So things will have to come in time. I also have my own Mikasa in my life, so you know things might be switching up a whole lot in the future. So. Sam John in that scenario. scenario yeah, I was say, not the best comparison. <laughs> that just means you're like the hopeless romantic and you can't. No, move. no, I, I'm John in the scenario. There you right, go. Right. We're gonna hopefully, Good correction. Hopefully. And hopefully, you the world, you were... and hopefully the world doesn't go into nuclear holocaust in the next few few uh, months. Yeah. Maybe the world leaders will take a look at this show and be like, hmm. let's just stay a little bit longer in peace, the peace section of the story. What if we don't blow each other up? Um, but. If that was to be a thing, we'd be looking at like a ranked ranking of episode episodes or ranking of seasons kind of thing, and and like like Will did a Twitch thing, but like ranking of characters as well. Yeah. In a video format. Once again, no promises. I w- but we would like to do more AOT stuff in the future. It's just obviously you guys know we have a lot of shows that are coming back and currently happening that are like a hundred plus episode commitments. And life. So, and, and and life. Life's very busy. All of us work. Yeah. Uh, in and outside this channel so we love you guys though I think I think that's a wrap for Attack on Titan for the time being or until they decide to make a dystopian spinoff so any any last thoughts before we wrap the series it's a long series one of our big long ones first long ones 
Aaron did it. He wins. That's get all Rumble, I wanted. Get Rumble, stay humble. A win's a win. Get Rumble, stay humble. Hey, a win's a win. A win's a win. And listen, if you doubted the boy, eat dick. Eat all dick. Right. Pause. My soldier's rage. That's all I have to say. My soldier's rage. Um, Erwin was always right. That's the final <laughs> statement. He was never wrong. I don't know. I don't want to end. Guys, Love leave a guys. like. Bye. Fuck off. Comment. <laughs> Be cool. Don't hate on us if you don't agree with our opinion. If you do, kiss my ass. Have a good night. Punch <laughs> my head. Oh. Shinzo Sasagio. <laughs> <laughs>